The sun rises over King's Canyon, its golden light spilling across the immense sandstone walls that stand sentinel over the ancient land. These towering cliffs, etched with the whispers of deep time, are not just stone, they are pages in a book of Earth's history, stretching back hundreds of millions of years. To walk among the canyons and gorges of Wataka National Park is to step into a story written by the patient hands of water, wind, and fire, the great forces that shape this timeless cathedral of rock. The foundation of King's Canyon was laid long before the first breath of humanity, back when Australia was unrecognisable, a mere fragment to drift in a world teeming with life unfamiliar to us today. Some 500 million years ago, in what is now known as the Amadeus Basin, vast shallow seas stretched across central Australia, teeming with early marine life. These waters carried fine-grained sediments, grains of quartz, minerals and silt that settled onto the seabed. Over millions of years, layer upon layer built up, forming what we now call the Carmichael and Marini sandstones. Each layer, pressed down by the weight of new deposits, slowly compacted into rock, capturing traces of ancient rivers and shifting dunes. The Marini sandstone, which forms the towering walls of King's Canyon, was once part of a massive coastal dune system, sculpted by relentless desert winds and shifting tides. But the world does not stand still. Over time, the seas withdrew, leaving the sedimentary layers exposed to new forces, pressure, heat, and the inevitable hands of erosion. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. And if you enjoy it, consider sharing it around. The Great Alice Springs Orogeny, a period of mountain building between 350 and 300 million years ago, set in motion the forces that would one day sculpt King's Canyon. As tectonic plates collided, the land crumpled and folded. The once horizontal layers of sedimentary rock buckled and rose, creating the George Gill Range, a landscape of high plateaus and deep fractures. With the uplift came vulnerability. The immense sandstone cliffs, standing high above the plains, were exposed to wind, rain, and temperature extremes. As water found its way into cracks, it began the slow, meticulous work of shaping the canyon. Over millions of years, small fractures widened, and whole sections of rock collapsed. The mighty cliffs we see today were carved from this process an ongoing symphony of destruction and rebirth. Erosion is the silent architect of King's Canyon. Every day, in ways almost imperceptible to the human eye, it continues its patient work. During the wet season, torrential rains carve deep channels, sending torrents of water cascading through the gorges. The Garden of Eden, a lush refuge nestled within the canyon's depths, exists because of this cycle. Rainwater gathers in its rock pools, sustaining life in an otherwise arid environment. This oasis would not exist without the relentless work of erosion, which scooped out depressions in the rock over countless millennia. Temperature fluctuations also play their role. The baking heat of the day causes the rock to expand, while the cool desert nights contract it. This endless cycle weakens the stone, causing thin layers to peel away a process called onion skin weathering. Over time, entire chunks of the canyon walls give way, tumbling into the depths below. The result is a breathtaking landscape of towering sheer cliffs, deep gorges, and sculpted sandstone domes. The most striking of these formations, known as the Lost City, resembles an abandoned metropolis, a maze of rounded rock formations shaped by millions of years of wind and water. While erosion has shaped the canyon's form, it is the elements, fire, water, and stone, that define its character. Fire is a part of the land's natural cycle, sweeping across the plateau in periodic blazes. It clears out old vegetation, making way for new growth, and reveals the true resilience of the ecosystem. The spinifex grasslands that cover the canyon's rims are designed to withstand fire, regrowing swiftly after each burn. 
Water, despite its destructive power, is also the giver of life. In the Garden of Eden, water collects in permanent pools, sustaining pockets of ferns, cycads and ghost gums. These plants are relics of a wetter past, survivors from a time when the outback was green and teeming with ancient rivers. Wind too plays a crucial role in shaping the landscape. As it sweeps across the plateau, it carries fine grains of sand, slowly wearing away at the rock. Over thousands of years, it carves delicate ridges and etchings into the rock, further refining the canyon's dramatic appearance. The contrast between life and stone is stark, yet it is this very contrast that makes King's Canyon so breathtaking. Standing at the edge of the rimwalk, gazing over the sheer drop into the canyon floor, one can't help but feel the insignificance of human time compared to the eons that shape this place. Beyond its sheer cliffs and breathtaking gorges, King's Canyon holds something even more extraordinary. Traces of ancient life fossilized within its stone. Throughout the Marini and Carmichael sandstones, fossilized ripples, burrows, and even microbial mats provide evidence of a world long lost to time. These remnants of prehistoric marine environments offer a glimpse into life half a billion years ago, when the region was submerged beneath ancient seas teeming with primitive organisms. They serve as nature's record keepers, preserving a time when life was still finding its way in a vast and evolving planet. Though King's Canyon appears timeless, it is not frozen in stone. It is still changing, still evolving. The forces that carved it are still at work. With every summer storm, with every gust of wind, the landscape shifts. Cracks widen, rocks fall, sand is carried away to new places, forming the next chapter in this endless geological story. One day, far into the future, King's Canyon as we know it may disappear. The mighty walls may crumble, the Garden of Eden may dry up, and new landscapes may rise in their place. But even as it changes, it will always remain a monument to the unimaginable power of time. A place where the earth has inscribed its own history into stone. For those who walk its trails, for those who stand upon its rim, King's Canyon is more than just a canyon. It is a window into deep time, and a humbling reminder of nature's grand design. It is, and always will be, a cathedral of stone, standing in silent reverence to the forces that shaped it. And though we may marvel at its beauty today, it is only a moment in the canyon's long and ever unfolding story. As we gaze upon its walls, we do not just see rock, we see time itself, written into sandstone, whispering the secrets of the past and the promises of the future. I hope you found this as interesting as I did, and as always, thanks for watching. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.